What is up, you guys? I like my new mask. Skirt! Check it out, guys. Right there. Boom! Bam! Skirt! That's our two and a half inch E valve exhaust. It's installed on a, what was at one point, a base 120 horsepower car. We've done the Wayland Tune KWI clutch kit on this thing. It's got a bunch of goodies in it. And uh, take a peek at what's on the hood. We may, we may be prototyping something here. We may be onto something. That right there is something I've been tinkering with and dragging around with me and putting on and taking off. That right there is going to be the most affordable 120 horsepower upgrade out there. Check it out. This video isn't about that fancy fancy intercooler. It's about this bad little Bama Jam with two and a half inch valve exhaust. That's it installed. We love it. The fishtail tip, it's all smooth. The nice curve into the downpipe. None of that deadhead and stuff. Nice smooth curves. Simple as that. We wired it up here. Dropped our custom switch into his dash. It's backlit orange for you Can-Am guys. And Plutters owners, don't worry. Your E-valve exhaust is on the way and you will have a blue backlit switch. Check it out. Cut to the point. We know what you guys are here for. You don't want to hear me talk. seen what you came for let's talk a little about this sucker obviously we talked about the smooth fishtail tip that's kind of just cosmetic since our little signature deal but how it's smooth into the mid pipe that's so important to us it's just, the, the exhaust gas is flow is what it's for so wiring harness with detailed instructions super easy to install four bolts you pull the passenger seat out access your accessory plugs everything is just plug and play it's so super easy you're gonna get your custom switch a fuse it's literally that easy. Sip ties, you get everything you need. Um, this is a super easy install. This requires nothing special. We do sell an exhaust spring pulling tool. It makes the install a little easier up there on the back and those exhaust springs off. Other than that, bolt it up like it's your factory mid pipe. All the heat shields go over. Of course, free of charge, you're gonna get two O2 bungs. So if you're running a data logger, you can just spin your second O2 bung into our mid pipe. If not, leave it capped. The Extreme HD V-Band clamp is an extra $20 with these. Um, you can select it on our website in the drop-down menu. If you want to replace your V-Band clamp, we have a really heavy-duty one. We've got plenty of videos and our other videos 
that cover that and why it's important. It's not required, but it does help a lot and definitely a little beefier. So that's our two and a half inch e-valve. Thanks for checking out our videos, guys. Pick this up on rpmsxs.com.